the young Miss Ryder won the Good Citizen Award from the Daughters of the American Republic Revolution and organized Park Ridge U to babysit the children of migrant workers. She excelled as a student at Wellesley College, where she was elected president of college government in the senior year and was the first graduating student invited to speak at the university. This led to national coverage in Time Magazine and an invitation to speak for the League of Women Voters with Marion Wright Edelman, the famous crusader of children's rights. Not surprisingly, Mrs. Clinton was accepted to Yale Law School, where she worked at the Yale Child Study Center, was involved in Marion Wright Edelman's project concerning children and the law, studied the rights of children under the law for an extra year, and met and fell in love with Yale Clinton. When Hillary Rodman and Bill Clinton married and moved to Arkansas, Clinton dedicated his life to public service, eventually became the nation's youngest governor. Mrs. Clinton succeeded in helping her husband win elections, raising their daughter Chelsea, and pursuing the fulfilling career of her own. She worked as a law professor at the University of Arkansas, joined the prestigious Rose Law Firm, and became a national figure as a litigator and chairperson of the Legal Services Corporation. As first lady of Arkansas, she chaired the Arkansas Educational Standards Committee, founded the Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families, introduced the Pioneer Program, Arkansas's Home Instruction Program for preschool youth, and served on the board of Arkansas Children's Hospital. The recognition of the great professional and personal accomplishments, Mrs. Clinton was named Arkansas Woman of the Year in 1983 and Arkansas Mother of the Year in 1984. As first lady of America, she has continued to promote issues important to her and to her, working tirelessly for such causes as health care reform by heading the task force of national health care reform. Quote on this lady, I was raised to believe that I had obligations because I was a blessed person. To whom much is given, much is expected. Well, we today are blessed with your presence and yours on our special day. We hope we live up to our expectations as well as you have yours. It is our great pleasure and honor to introduce the First Lady of our Republic, the United States of America, Mrs. Hillary Rodham Clinton. Thinking this man is great 
because he has learned the basic lessons of what it is to be a human being filled with hope, who continues to forgive, never to forget, but always to forgive because a hopeful heart has no room for bitterness, has no room for vengeance, has no room for hatred. This man, in this extraordinary act of humanity, could overcome bitterness and invite his three jailers to his inaugural. Certainly every one of us could change our own hearts and our own minds and begin to live with that same level of hopefulness. And then last week, the President and I were in Europe to celebrate the lives and sacrifices of many of your grandparents and uncles and others who lived and fought and maybe even died during World War II. We saw many there who had survived that particular conflict, but I want to tell you about one particular gentleman. He's not a famous person, but he is a very important man. His name is Woodrow Crockett. He was a member of a very African-American man who believed they were as good as anybody else. And who? Who believed in the promise of democracy and freedom and decided they wanted to make their contribution. And they formed themselves into the Tuskegee Airmen. And if you followed any of the TV coverage of the invasion of Europe, you may have heard that in the two months before D-Day, 2,000 planes, 12,000 men were shot down over Europe by the Germans. The Tuskegee Airmen, who flew fighter planes that were to protect bombers making those bombing runs, never lost a single bomber. And I asked Mr. Crockett, how in the face of the extraordinary attacks that were going on, did the Tuskegee Airmen never lose a single bomber? And he said, that's because we knew our job, we stayed in formation, and we took care of each other. Pretty good words to live by. And someone who did in you. And I think it's an investment that has been very well made. God bless you, and good luck to everyone.